Hey everybody, Justin from Justo Show here with you behind the scenes. Now in this last video, well, I just did a video like going through this, how to do this. Well, not really much how to, but I was just going through the motions of doing it. The only issue I have is this right here. I think I know why. It's something with the floor. Because I have the floors split up. So I might have to redo the floor. But, uh. Anyway, I kind of want to give you a tip that I totally forgot about. So. Oh, and there's also an issue with this, too. I think because it might be. It might be. These are with another shape. So I'm going to turn that off, too. Uh. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, so if you'd want to, you know, build your spaces in 3D, a tip for you to do that. A lot of us forget about this. Well, I know I do. Maybe not a lot of you, but I know when I see a lot of tutorials, nobody really ever does this. But we should start utilize, utilizing this feature right here. All these cameras. Or all these views, I should say. Or even if you just need two views. But for this type of work, three views will work. So, my setup that I just came up with now, it's kind of like when I'm doing this in uh, Blender sometimes. When you're modeling, off of a reference, normally you'll have the front, the top, oh, excuse me, the top, left, and right. Or... There's like a uh, this this kind of view perspective where you can just kind of look at your model and then the front view, the top view, and then a the right view, right or left. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this one like this. So this is where I'll use my workspace tools. This one right here, I'll just go to view. We'll set that one at the top, and then uh, just click off of that. That way I won't mess it up. And to pan around, you can actually just you know uh, right click and you can pan around. And then down here will be the uh, right. And then over here, it'll be like the front, but actually you'll be in the camera. So you can have your camera and you can still look around. You know, that way you can render stuff, see how it'll look. So this is how that looks. This is how that looks. I'm not understanding why this is being see-through. Let me go check something out. Okay. You know what? That's all I really wanted to tell you in this video. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm planning on doing a animated uh tutorial on having one of my characters walk out let's see what's it for so having him walk out here and just you know just kinda maybe relaxing or waving but just to show you how you could do it if you wanted to actually animate your character in the 3d space based on where you're looking camera wise so yeah that's going to be it. Peace out, y'all.